Hey everyone, welcome to May's Lug Life. I'm May, and today we're going to be talking specifically about lug wallets that can carry or that are big enough to hold a passport. Um, I know that Lug has created uh, products in the past that will specifically hold travel documents. Uh, so obviously a passport is one of those things, but it'll definitely hold like your boarding pass, your airline tickets, your visas, your uh, currencies, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, for example, the Tango that is meant specifically for travel documents. Obviously that will fit your passport, but it's quite large. It's a, it's a, it's a larger, you know, sort of piece. Um, and it maybe doesn't function for anything else other than travel documents. So you wouldn't necessarily be able to use it as your everyday wallet or anything like that. So, um, for those of us who are not traveling regularly, who are not, uh, you know, always airbound, um, maybe you don't want to spend the extra money to buy a whole separate travel folio that you may want to use one of the wallets that currently exists so that you can just use it as a wallet when your travels are done. So I'm going to show you really quickly, as fast as I can, all the different wallets that I've got here that may or may not fit a passport. So first off, I'm going to go with the smallest wallet, wallet that they make, which is the Handspring Mini. So the Handspring Mini will have the same dimensions as the Minuet, but the Minuet will have a little bit of a clasp in the front, so it'll just be a little bit thicker. Um, and the other one would be the Splits wallet, but the Splits will be this times two because it's got two different zippers. So it'll be double the thickness of this, but it'll be the same size this way. So just quickly to show you how much bigger that passport is, which means it will not fit no matter what you do, no matter how hard you try, you're not gonna be able to get that passport in there. So that is either the Minuet, the Handspring Mini, which is what this is. By the way, this is the uh, Amber Yellow, um, and the uh, Splits Wallet, the smaller Splits Wallet will not fit a passport. So that's the smallest one. The next one up I have is the Rodeo. This is the Rodeo 2 in navy. Um, I believe the Rodeo, the original Rodeo, is the exact same dimensions, but the features on the inside, the way the card slots are laid out is different. I don't know if it will fit, because I don't actually have the original Ranger. My guess is no, because it doesn't have really very big pockets. So I'm assuming it doesn't. If anybody knows, please put in the comments below. I'd be very curious to know if it does. But with that said, so this one here, if you try to slide it into the side wallets, so side slots, it doesn't fit. The only place it'll go is in that sort of cash slot or bill slot in the back. But it, because it's so much bigger, it actually kind of throws it off center a little bit. So there's the center line and there's the end of where the passport goes. So when you close it, it does that. You can close it, but it just makes the whole wall a little bit wonky. Therefore, it can put a little bit of stress on the zipper. So here I am, I've got that in that slot back there. And just also be careful because it just makes head clearance right here. So it's just sitting under the zipper. So you have to be absolutely certain it's pushed right down. Otherwise you're gonna pop your zipper. So when you do it, you just have to be super careful and super slow, especially going around that corner. So the only problem is, it's empty right now, so this wall is completely empty. And even though it's empty, I just had to sort of pull up on that zipper to be able to avoid getting caught on the corner. And then I have to make sure this is absolutely shoved at the very bottom in order to close this pop properly. The other problem with that is if you happen to have any cards or anything else in these little slots, or if you've got coins in the back here, it's going to push everything sort of out of whack and it's gonna start sort of eating up the real estate that would otherwise give you the room to be able to zip this shut. So if this is going to be just a travel wallet with there's nothing else, like you might have maybe a couple of cards here, maybe a couple of little important business cards or something like that, and a little bit of change, you can probably get away with using this as the passport wallet or you can just use this 100% as a passport wallet and nothing else. So it just becomes like a passport case. Um, but because, you know, because of the way it all sits, I probably wouldn't recommend it, but it works in a pinch. Uh, just be extra, extra careful when you're zipping it because it's, it does put the, the zippers into a bit of a stressful situation because it's having to go around corners. So my, not my recommendation, but will work if you absolutely need to. And if that's the only wallet you've got, go for it. This is the Tram. So this is a much softer wallet, which is much more forgiving. All the rest of Lug wallets are, they have a lot more structure. So 
there's not a whole lot of wiggle room what you can squeeze in. So this one, because it's so soft, actually does allow for the passport to go in much easier. So even, so now this is empty again, but even empty, you can either close it even on, on, the, on the farthest uh, snap or here. So you can stick it there, you can put it there. It doesn't, oops, it doesn't really, really matter. The other place you can put it, though I, again, I don't recommend it, is in this slot back here. So there's a, there's a little zipper pocket there. Because, of, because it opens so wide, it can easily slot in there. But again, the, the wallet kind of has to be empty because if you look, it just fits. So if there's anything else here, or if there's anything in this pocket here, it won't shut. If it's empty, you're good to go. So if you're using this as, again, just um, a, a passport wallet, you're good. But you, again, you have to be very careful. It goes all the way down and you have to pull up on that zipper to make sure that you've got space. Now, just so you know, this was even tighter than the rodeo was. I'm not gonna zip it all the way because the last time I did, I had trouble. So you just have to be super careful and super slow. So I actually wouldn't recommend it, but again, in a pinch, if you have to, it does fit. I would probably put it in here. That would be the safest place as far as zippers go, and you can still access it really quickly. But if you need that extra, you know, sort of safety because you're a little bit afraid because it's just a slot and not a zipper, you could put it here and that would be safer as far as the zipper goes. But if you want to put it here, just be really careful about that zipper um, because it's, yeah, it's it's tight. Um, and it does not fit in the back here as uh, either. So tandem, eh, or sorry, my tram, eh, I wouldn't recommend it, but if you had to, you could. Same as the Rodeo. Okay, now we're getting into the larger wallets. So these are their largest uh, wallet. So the first one here, actually, I'm going to go to this one. I'm going to go to, this is the thinnest one. So this is the handspring. The next one is the splits XL. And the next one is the cake flip three. These are all the exact same size this way, but the, they're different features and different slots. So they all function a little bit differently. So let's start off with the thinnest one first. So this is the one that opens like a book. Uh, you could put it in the front pocket here, but then it doesn't really close properly and it really affects all the card slots here. Um, the best place to put it would be back here, the very, very back in that back slot because it doesn't seem to infringe upon all the other card slots and you can close it much easier. Now, be careful because if you have this completely filled up with every single card slot with a card, the whole thing gets really hard to close, even without the passport. If you've got the passport in there and you've got all these guys full as well, it does fit but it's gonna be a super, super tight zip. So when you try to zip it shut, you're gonna have some issues. So just be, just watch your zipper and make sure that you don't overload this wallet if you're gonna put a passport in there because the passport's quite thick and because it sticks out, uh, it sticks out this way, it's going to start eating up space everywhere else. So I wouldn't recommend it if you've got a lot of other stuff. But if you're like, hey, I only have a few cards or I'm just gonna use the card slots on this side. I'm gonna put a bit of change in here, put a little bit of cash here, like maybe you know your one currency here and maybe another currency there, you might be able to get away with it, but just really try not to overload it. The good thing about this wallet, it does come with a wristlet strap. So it does make things a lot easier when you're carrying around. Actually, all three of these guys do. So if, you know, if you, if you, if that helps you at all in your, in your, you know, running around traveling, all of these guys have a wristlet strap. So that's probably where I would put it. Um, and it does not fit, unfortunately, in that back pocket there. Um, it just doesn't. <laughs> so don't even try. So anyway, so that is the handspring. The next one is the splits XL. So same thing with this one, you could slide it into this back, so this front slot. But again, you just have to be really careful because when it closes, if it's, again, if this is full, you're gonna have issues. If this is full, you're not gonna be able to close it. But if it's empty, you can close it relatively well. Uh, if you want to try to stick it in this slot here, you could, but just be careful. Again, if you can see the headroom there, there's really not a lot. So if you're putting it in here, nothing else, can really be here and there can really be very, very little back here because it is. if this is packed, it's gonna push everything forward on here and you're not gonna be able to get it shut. Or you can get it shut, but you might not be able to get it opened. So it does zip relatively easily if it's, if it's empty, but if it's a little bit packed, that becomes practically impossible. The next place you could slide it would be this, the back section here. 
there is a slot in the back on both sides. So you could just slide in there to sort of keep it a little bit more private. So there it is. Oh, sorry, not that one. This one, I think it was the side. This was the side I think it worked on. Yeah, same thing. You could slide it in there, but you have to push it all the way down. Make sure there's probably not really any cards here and you're gonna have some issues closing that zipper. So again, I wouldn't recommend it. You could also just put it in here, but it's not as secure, but it will close easier if you put it there. Just like sliding it right in in front of the card slots. So there you go. So again, not my, my, my first choice, but if you had to, you definitely could. That would be the most comfortable fit so far next to the handspring in the back. And then here is the Kickflip 3. So it will not fit at all in the front, in the front uh, pocket. And again, same thing. This is the exact same layout as the Splits XL that we just saw in the back. So if you wanted to, you could try to slide it in here, but you have to push it all the way down and make sure, because otherwise it won't zip or you can take it and put it in between and same thing. You just have to push it all the way down and make sure that this wall is not overly packed because otherwise it's not gonna work. Um, and it also does not fit in the back here as much as you'd like. So there you go. So those are their larger ones. The next one up is, it's kind of a medium size one. This is the tandem zip. So I, I don't have a tandem uh, snap. There's one that has a snap that comes across. I don't have that one. I think the dimensions are very similar, if not identical. If you happen to have the tandem slot, again, put it in the comments and let me know if uh, if your passport fits, because I want to know as well. So the good thing about this one, it's got this front slot where you're supposed to put your cell phone. It does fit really, really well in there. The problem though is when you are upside down, okay, it, it shook out earlier. <laughs> Hmm. Okay. When I did this earlier <laughs> to test it, when I put it in this slot, I shook it really hard and it came flying out. Um, you may have to do a test on your own. Of course, right now it's not, which, hey, that's a good thing. Um, but I did this earlier and it came out instantly. So, okay, whatever. It's not working today, which is great. Maybe it was just a fluke. So um, anyways, that being said, you could put it in there. Again, if you're in a rush and you're just going from, you know, uh, place to place to place in the airport and having to pull it in and out a lot, but you don't want to put it safe, safe, safe away, that might be a good spot to put it in. But just be really careful that you hang on to it. Because when, like I said, when I tried it earlier and I shook it, this thing came out in a second. Um, it did not stay like that at all. I'm actually not sure what I've done differently. <laughs> but anyway, so there we go. Uh, so it does fit into that slot if you really wanted to, uh, which is great um, but it will for sure for sure for sure fit into that little flap back there no worries at all perfectly hidden really really well put behind and you actually can put cards in all of these and still be able to close it because because it's so wide it doesn't start pushing out into the into the fold of the of the of the wallet so and because it's quite it's quite thick uh, it gives you a lot of space, so you should be able to zip that up absolutely easily, no problem. This one does come with a, a, a wristlet strap that you would hook onto right there. There's a little D-ring right there. Um, I've just got it hidden inside here. So this, so far, is my best bet for your, um, for your passport. The problem with this one is I don't know if it'll fit a boarding pass or a plane ticket because it's shorter. So compared to the Splits XL, if you can see, it's the slits out cell is a little bit longer, but it's it's shorter. So it's not it's not quite as it's not quite as tall this way. The tandem is a little bit taller, but I don't know. So I feel like a boarding pass would fit this because I don't think they're very tall, but they're long. Um, so I don't know if it'll fit this. So this might just be your wallet and your passport, and you'll have to carry your boarding pass or whatever maybe here. Um, anyway, so. If you've ever used this as your travel wallet, put in the comments below because I'd be curious to know as well. So anyway, so it does fit in there, no problem. That's probably my recommendation of all of the wallets so far. Uh, and I believe it does not fit in the back. I think I'm, yeah, it does not fit in the back. So I've tried that already. So, so far, this would be my, my first choice to be the place I would keep my passport if I was traveling. So the last thing that I have, and I'm not sure... I guess it's a wallet. I mean, people call it a wallet. I don't think it's a wallet. I think it's just a, a, a cosmetic bag with a strap that has a bit of RFID on it. Um, but this is the um, Peekaboo wristlet strap, uh, wristlet uh, pouch rather. And it's basically just a cavern. Uh, it is RFID shielded on this side, 
but not on this side. So if you were trying to put it so that you could see it, you wouldn't have the protection, but you'd be able to see it very quickly. So it does fit back here in that little clear view slot, but it's not technically, to, I think, I've RFID protected. So obviously, because it's just a cavern, it does fit easily right in there. No problem. And then the even better thing is that little privacy pouch back there. There's a little privacy zip pouch. You can actually put it in there as well and zip it shut. So you can keep that really good and safe and put other things in there. Um, at least I believe this is RFID shielded. Now that I'm thinking about it, is it? Yeah, it is. It is. There's a little, there's a little thing right down there that says RFID. Okay. So, um, so this whole thing is RFID shielded. I just don't think it is here. So if you put your passport in this, I don't think it's protected anymore. So just be aware of that. So, so far, all the things that I've mentioned are RFID shielded. So anything that I've mentioned so far, you can put your passport in and it should be safe. And so will your cards. Now, just for fun, just because I wanted to sort of show you other things. So I've got these Clearview Trans, so that's the transport. Uh, and these are the seesaws. Um, and I just wanted to sort of show you, if you didn't want a wallet and you just want some other kind of pouch thing to carry it that you can really see so that you know what you're doing. Um, these are the seesaws. So there's the medium one and the small one. It actually does fit easily into the small pouch so that you can actually see what you're doing. Um, and it zips shut so you, if you can have, you know, like this in there and just so you can sort of see like, okay, it is here. So you're putting in your other bag, like in your purse and you just want to go, okay, this is where my passport is, but you want to kind of keep it sort of safe. You can put it in this one. So you can put it in the smaller one and same thing. So this is the three piece transport set. Same thing with this one. There's the smallest one. So there's a small, medium, large, and again, it'll easily fit into the small one. So you can put it in there. Um, and it'll be protected from uh, dirt and water. But here's the problem. All three, so all of these things are not RFID protected. So you won't be protected from having potentially someone taking the information off of your passport. But it is a place that you can keep it if you're just trying to keep it safe and trying to keep it clean. But if you were trying to look for RFID protection and you want to use something like this without a wallet, I had purchased one of these a long time ago. These are just little paper envelopes, little paper sleeves that you can get at any travel store or travel supply store, like luggage store. I'm sure Amazon has them. This I think cost me like $4.95 Canadian. Really, really cheap and it's just paper, but there's some kind of something they put into the paper that allows it to be RFID shielded. And how it works is you just slide your entire passport in like that. So you could do that and then use one of these little sleeves and then it's protected. And then when you are you know, running around and you need it, you pull it out and then you just gotta have to pull that out. So it's an extra little layer of something else you gotta do. And these things are not super, super strong. They're a little on the flimsy side. I mean, so far they've done pretty well for me, but they're not the strongest things in the world. So if you're in a rush, this is gonna probably drive you insane. Uh, it's driving me nuts at this very second, um, but it does it does seem to do the job. Uh, so there we go. So I hope that helps a little bit. Now the only wallet that I don't have is the Quick Step. Um, I don't think I'm ever gonna get it because it just didn't look like something that was ever going to suit my needs. So. I just don't have it. Um, so again, if anyone has that wallet, please let me know and tell me what you think. Um, I Obviously, I, I'm assuming it's going to fit because it's essentially one of their largest wallets because uh, it's essentially a purse. <laughs> and um, if it is if it is something that does work for uh, for that then I would you know I would I would recommend that probably more than the rest of them because it's such a big wallet and you can carry a bunch of other stuff in it as well. So my recommendations out of all those wallets would be, the tandem, and now again, this is the tandem zip. I don't know what the tandem snap will be like. I imagine it'll be very similar. And if uh, if you're in a pinch, there are other ones that will work, but just be really careful with the zipper and be really careful with how much you pack into it. And if you just want to go on the cheap and you just want something really, really easy just to protect your, your identification, go with one of those sleeves. They're really easy to find. Um, and then other than that, it's just a matter of what else you're carrying and how much you want to carry and all that jazz. So I hope that was helpful. Um, and please leave me comments below. I'm really actually quite curious to know what wallets work best for travel um, when you've got, you know, your, your other documents that isn't the Tango. Obviously, the Tango is going to work because um, that's what exactly what it was designed for. But other than that, I'd love to find out what your uh, what your uh, 
input is. So that's it. Hope that was helpful. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you next time.